Hello, this is Alexis Pekin and I love off-roading. Here we are in Eastbourne, in the south coast of the UK, and we are practicing the zigzag technique in order to climb these super steep Mjarli cliffs. I'm riding with an EXNI speed, which is definitely not a climber wheel, for different reasons, such as the pedal height, sometimes it's really not enough to clear the deeper potholes or rocks, the terrible heating management, although I have an extra fan, extra heat sink, escape holes, still it gets very very hot. And most importantly, not being a night torque motor, it lacks the power of those bigger magnets. The other wheels also are not high torque either. We have two Shermans and a Nicola. However, rider's technique is everything that what makes a difference and that what makes this incredibly steep and gnarly climb successful. This technique is all about zigzagging. So starting descending as fast as possible until the point when the terrain gets a bit too steep for comfort. Then start turning diagonally to reduce the incline that the wheel needs to go through. However, the most difficult part will be not to pedal clip while taking turns left and right. The degree of the turns depend by the terrain and by your ability. Practice, as with everything, helps majorly, but focusing on what you're doing before attempting the climb is what really can make a difference. In fact, we stop to actually look at the cliff, at the, at the face of the cliff. We try to study before attempting it. We ask ourselves which is the pathway that has less gravel, uh, less potholes, um, which uh, kind of terrain allow, can allow us to zigzag without losing grip, without pedal clipping, allows us to have more uh, control of the wheel. Once we have an idea and a focus on what we are going to do, then we can start the climb and try to obtain what we pre-planned because pre-planning a route it's necessary in these cases, especially without a high torque wheel because if you have, for instance, a master, you can disregard every sort of technique, just go up, you have enough torque, you have suspension, so those pop tools, they won't throw you off. So you can just go, reach the top, and another point to take into account before attempting riding up and down these cliffs is your EUC temperature. So once we get to 65, maximum 70 degrees Celsius, we stop. And then we wait until the wheel reaches again about 55 degrees Celsius so that we know we can try and attempt this incline without risking to burn the motherboard. So to summarize, study your line when you encounter a steep incline, go for it, try to use a zigzag technique when appropriate to put less pressure on the motor and just go diagonally towards the incline and there are more chances that your wheel, regardless of power, battery size, model or whatever, can do it. Another thing to take into account, probably the most difficult that, is to actually apply those sharp turns and incline. Be aware that it's difficult, especially at the beginning, but with practice you will come, we will become more familiar with it and you will manage. And if you keep on not managing, then try for a less steep incline and start from there. Practice, 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 and you'll make it, regardless of whatever uses you have. Ciao, ciao!